Hello YouTubers, Wildcat Piper here, coming from the Wildcat Lounge. I think it's Sunday afternoon and I'm smoking a no-name basket pipe. Um, Canadian, I guess. And in it I'm smoking Peter, Peter Stokeby's Luxury Bullseye Flake. If you've never seen them, they come in little medallions or coins like this and um, it's got Parique Virginias and if you look in the center of that you can see the black Cavendish and uh, but the black Cavendish is way in the background this is a blend normal that I don't smoke not bad in this pipe And the price, you can't beat the price for Peter Stokeby's blends. And um, got a few of his different blends. And I did want to try the, the these uh, medallions, this, the Luxury Flake. And it's pretty good. There's two, I've got two of them rubbed out in here. I'd say generally it's probably two of them would uh, fill up most pipes. And uh, so not a bad blend. Really a good opportunity for me to try something other than Englishes or the aromatics. So I do uh, like the fact that it's not those. It give me a different flavor in my tobacco. And it's not a bad blend. This weekend has been a matter of uh, highs and lows. And it's been extremely exciting at times, and and it's pretty scary the rest of the time. Let me explain what I mean. This past Friday night, we had our um, Halloween trunk or treat, and it went great. Had 34 kids come out for our church. That's fantastic. Along with that, we had 12 people sign up. Well, not sign up, but 12 people donate their trunks to hand candy out. That was fantastic. A lot of people there to support and do whatever was needed to help the kids. That was fantastic. So we were able to provide a safe place for the kids to come and trick or treat and at the same time have a great, great time. And I dressed up that night as Big Blue Madness. So I'm going to insert picture right here. Yeah, that was me. Yes, that's a blue beard. <laughs> It was uh, great fun and a great time. <clears throat> so I go to work Saturday morning. And I get a call from the secretary of our church. One of the ladies that helped us that night, Friday night, woke up Saturday morning and had a tremendous headache. And... Um, was screaming because it hurt so bad to the point where her husband who was also there that night just a great couple she's probably in her mid 60s he uh, called the ambulance and they came and picked her out she even walked down the steps and got on the gurney and they took her to the hospital and found out that she had a massive stroke. And that stroke uh, affected her um, 
brain stem. So the doctor basically told the family and those of us who are in the room, there's nothing they can do. And that's very difficult to hear, you know? Just a great lady. Uh, she came up to me after the trunk or treat and said, boy, wasn't this a great time? And even mentioned, you know, if, if I was going to do it next year. And I said, yeah. I said, you know, I'm playing on it. And she said, oh, count me in. I want to be a part of that. And 24 hours later, she's fighting for her life. And... It just kind of reminds reminds all of us that uh, you know life is fleeting. It's nothing but a whisper. And it became real known to me when my father passed. Just how great life was and how real death is. So, that was difficult. Still is, you know. She's, last uh, word was, you know, nothing they can do. And she's still fighting, you know. Doctors have given up, but uh, our prayers haven't. And uh, we've been praying for her very hard. And if you're a praying person, just pray for Bill's friend. And um, just, I am praying for a complete healing. I'm also praying for comfort for her husband. And. So, <clears throat> been dealing with that. It's kind of like you're on a high with how great the trunk or tree went, and a lot of lot of new kids, and then you just get blasted by something so tragic the very next day. And I know you realize this, but we're not guaranteed another breath, you know. That was a message I gave to the kids today at church was, I mean, you don't know. You don't know when. I mean, death affects little kids, big kids. <laughs> but it's just kind of made this weekend kind of blah for me. I was so excited from the trunk or treat, great things we accomplished there. And then dealing with this. But this is the times, you know, when I'm very thankful for my faith. You know, because there's a lot of things you go, why? I mean, why would that happen? And it's part of an awesome weekend and why this we're not guaranteed to, to understand the whys what's well, important we understand the who who can uh, help us through it and overcome it But, <clears throat> didn't mean to make it a downer for everyone, but you know, sometimes you just go, you need to go to your friends. And isn't it weird that this thing that we all have in common makes us friends? You know, you can, most of you people live in areas I would never visit. 
some of you are on the other side of the world. And, but because of, you know, as John Keller says, the pipe is a key to relationships. Because of that relationship, that pipe, we uh, are able to call each other friends, you know. So, just wanted to come on and talk to my friends. <clears throat> Tomorrow night I'll give you my, in my last video, if you haven't seen it, I posed a question. If the zombie apocalypse hit, what pipes and tobaccos would you take with you? You get three pipes and three blends of tobacco, either a 10 or a 2 ounce. So what would that be? I'll give you mine tomorrow night. And until then, blow some smoke rings in the air. Uh, hug your family and your friends, your kids. But above all, know you are blessed. Talk to you soon.